My name is Mickey Wilson. My name is Tom Eaton. My name is uh, Jim Crawford. My name is Hannah Sanders. Uh, my name is Doug Shankle. Uh, I'm a graduate of the Forsyth Tech Biotech Program. I work at Forsyth Tech Community College. I joined a company that is called Carenetics. I'm the uh, lab operations manager at Wake Forest uh, Institute for Regenerative Medicine. I work for um, Appalachian State University here at the North Carolina Research Campus. I'm Cindy Zimmerman. I graduated from Forsyth Tech, and this is um, Wake Forest. Institute of Regenerative Medicine, they call it W Firm. I'm working currently at Nanotech Laboratories. I'm the lab manager for Nanotech Labs. And I'm now a laboratory technician at uh, the Plants for Human Health Institute. One of the reasons I wanted to go to Forsyth Tech was to upgrade my, uh, my skills and knowledge in that area. We do, in the biotech pro program, you do a lot of hands-on. So you're using the equipment that you're actually going to be using in the field. The doctor who hired me is, told me she was actually impressed by the program going on at RCCC. The skills and the, the knowledge that I gained in that two-year program were immensely, uh, immensely valuable to me. My education really helped to give me a background so I can you know, understand what they're talking about, but it, it's a continual learning process. By going to Forsyth Tech, getting the internship, it let me, it got me in the door, and the rest was up to me. I knew that I was prepared for anything that came our way. I love it. I love working here. We have a variety of things that we work on. I guess you could say that uh, it's never boring. I really believe that if someone wants to get into this field, it'd be the right way to go. I believe there's going to be many opportunities for people in the future, even here at Nanotech Labs. I'm sort of getting back to what I used to do and what I really like to do. But uh, being able to upgrade your skills can make you much more marketable. I just like the, the it's not mundane, it's ever-changing.